Hello everybody, my name is Garrett Marigut. I am the CEO and co-founder of Directive Consulting. And today we're gonna to talk about how to assess your Google AdWords budget. Now there's a lot of tools out there for AdWords budget calculators. There's a lot of information on the internet regarding how you should determine your Google AdWords budget. But what there isn't a lot of information on and where we see a large problem is how to reassess your Google AdWords budget. In other words, how do you rethink your PPC spend after you've started to do it? And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Now, one of the common things we see is someone goes into an AdWords campaign, either for the first time, and they're really trying to decide, okay, how much do we need to spend? But then there's always that really difficult kind of underlying conversation of how much will we actually get approved to spend, right? And so there's a fine line between oftentimes how much you need to spend and how much you're approved to spend. And it's really important to understand those differences when you go into it. Now, what you don't know going into it is any of the real information. And so when you're reassessing your AdWords budget, there's some things you really need to look at. So let's take an example of a couple situations we see very often here when reevaluating your budget. First, you've launched a campaign, you're happy with some of the conversions, but you want more. Now the number one thing you should be asking, either your internal team or your agency, is what's my search impression share? How much of it is lost for budget and how much is it lost to rank? If you're losing it to rank, that's usually something that's somewhat in your control and you can take that search impression share and increase it by creating more focused campaigns, more relevant campaigns and better campaigns. That's more of an hours and time thing than a budget thing. Now, other times your search impression share might be lost to budget. That's due to your spend. That traditionally means that the cost per click for a set of keywords in a budget is greater than the daily budget you have set in AdWords. So that means that you could have a campaign that's driving conversions at the cost per conversion you desire, but you're not showing up all the time. One of the simplest things you can do to reassess your budget is simply increase your daily budgets on your most profitable campaigns and allow yourself to grow. This is a really important thing, and here's why. Now, the reason this is so important is if you have such a rigid framework for your budget, you can't make the proper decisions to actually grow your volume of marketing qualified leads. So here's what I see happen all the time. People start this PPC campaign and they say, look, we want to grow with you. This is where we can start, but we know once we get re results, we can reassess our budget. The honest truth is in the last four and a half years, I've seen probably less than 5% of our clients actually reassess budgets when they did get results. And that's a problem because what you end up doing is instead of trying to grow your campaigns around search and like search impression share and make sure you're always showing up for your most profitable words, you can do that, but then you lose all your experimentation. So ideally what you want to be able to do is max out your best performing campaigns, but then still have enough budget left to test new campaigns around new keywords, new positions in the funnel, new types of campaigns, maybe going into different channels, being paid social, LinkedIn, Facebook, even maybe testing display. Now we haven't had a lot of success here and we've talked about that before around display campaigns in comparison to search for B2B, but you can at least test for your individual business because nothing's ever for sure. But you can't test if you don't have the ability to reassess your budget and that's critical. The next time that's really important to reassess budgets and that's kind of moment that you might really want to think through. If you have a timeline that's shorter than your budget actually allows. Perfect example. You want to get results in the first 90 days of starting your AdWords campaign. You've never done it before. You want to launch. You need to go back to the executive team, your boss or someone else's boss in the next quarter and say, here's the investment we made. Here's what we got back from it. The problem is, is usually when people do this, they start with a really small budget. It's not been proven yet. This is a test campaign. We want to prove it out. The problem is, is sometimes your test campaign budget doesn't allow for the clicks necessary to get to the optimizations that allows your cost per acquisition to go where it needs to be for the test to ever be successful. And so really what you've done, you've created a situation where the most likely outcome is failure and you never want that to be the case. So if you're in a spot where your budget's too small, then expand your timeline. 
know that you need at least 100 clicks on a keyword before you really feel that it's statistically significant to turn it on or off. And because of that, if the clicks to get to 100 are more than your budget, then you won't get there in, other, in enough time to turn the keywords off to lower your cost per acquisition to make the campaigns the success you wanted them to be. So if you don't, if you have a timeline that's shorter than your budget allows for you to actually get success, that's the time you're gonna really wanna reassess the budget. Even if you messed up at first, it's better to go back to your team or to your agency and say, okay guys, we need to reassess this budget to actually get to our goals and that's okay to do. And the last time that's really important to reassess your budgets is sometimes the campaigns just aren't working. And that's a reality. Not always does every campaign work. This is a great opportunity to reassess a budget because maybe, just maybe, the campaign needs more time and you don't need to totally shut it off, but you can reassess your budget. In other words, maybe you don't have the money right now to experiment anymore. So you don't wanna run an alpha and beta campaign where alpha is your top performing campaigns, you know those work, those have 100% search impression share and your beta campaigns at 50%. Maybe you just can't do any beta campaigns. Maybe cash is tied at the firm, maybe you had a bad quarter, for whatever reason. But sometimes lowering spend is a lot better than pausing it entirely. And so really look at that and say, okay, is there any part of what we've done that is salvageable that we can continue to do instead of just pausing the entire thing? So not every budget needs to be reassessed to grow. Some need to be reassessed to diminish, but to do so takes a really fine amount of expertise and analysis to make sure that you don't sabotage all your efforts and because sometimes, especially with paid search and advertising in general, there's sometimes indirect benefits to the campaigns you're running and you might not be giving those campaigns all the credit they deserve. This is a great way to look at multi-channel attribution if you're using a tool like Visible, like we do for ourselves, or if you're looking even at your Google Analytics and you're looking at multi-touch attribution. It's really important though, that you fully understand before completely pausing or diminishing a budget, the value that it could be indirectly providing some of your other campaigns. Everybody wants direct attribution, but sometimes it's just not a reality, and that's okay if you don't have it. It's better to reassess it, maybe pump it down a little bit, instead of completely turning it off, seeing what happens when you do that, and then once again, reassessing your budget based off your smaller spend to see if you still hit your goals. Hopefully, this video has been informational and helpful to give you a new framework for reassessing budgets. And really, if your campaigns are doing well, instead of trying to move things around, it's always worth it to try to grow the budget if you're doing well. It makes you look good, it makes your agency look good, and it helps hit your overall objectives. If campaigns are underperforming, it's okay to step back, it's okay to slow them down, it's, a way, it's okay to cut away the fat, but you should always be reassessing your budgets. Stagnant budgets are one of the hardest things that in-house marketers are dealing with right now because they don't have the freedom to adjust to the results they're gathering. Make sure you have a flexible budget so you can reassess on the fly. As always, subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.